Look at that cloak. We have a, our whale stalker cloak, our Le Leviathan cape right there. I love that, guys. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our Leviathan expedition playthrough. In the last episode, we actually went through a ton of phase four. We we did a lot of our sentinel killing. We got our uh, awesome, awesome smuggling run done. But we're trying now to get our uh, fallen giants milestone done. We have to go find a crashed freighter. We also need to befriend an aggressive creature. But what we can do is what you want to do if ideally is to get a whole bunch of navigational data and come over here to the uh, the cartographer and you'll be able to get a specific map. The one we're looking for is the uh, emergency cartographic data, the uh, distress signal. That's what we're looking for. I don't have any uh, navigational data, but instead of looking for that, I got lucky. And this one, actually, this particular uh, system will give me a randomized map, but it's not really random. It's random in the fact that you don't know what you're going to get until you buy it. And then when you buy it, you'll get that same map over and over. So you see, I got a distress signal map. Thank God. That's what I was looking for. So now that I know he gives out distress signal maps, let's grab another one. And it gives you another one. So you could keep, as long as you, you know which map he's going to give you randomly, quote unquote, he will keep giving you that one. So there you go. So let's get a few. Specifically, you want to get five because you're up. You can find up to five different map locations with this planetary chart. So it'll mark a, a distress beacon from a crashed ship. It'll mark a uh, abandoned building. It'll mark different locations that are that need help. They're in distress. We're looking for specifically we're looking for a crash freighter. So we should have five now. There they are. So let's fire it off. Abandoned building. See, you get that one. Don't worry about it. We're going to... You don't want to you You don't want to go in and basically take the marker off your location. You want to keep using it until it marks five different locations. See, it's marking it. And it, it won't let you... It'll say, oh, sorry, we've already targeted because it already found one. Let's do another one. Hmm, okay. So we haven't got all of them yet. Oh, wait a minute. We do have five. So we have... A distress beacon, which is probably a crash ship. We have an abandoned building over there. We also have a crash freighter. It will come up as the same symbol as like a distress beacon. We also have an observatory. And we found on a different planet way over there, we found a another distress beacon. So you'll see a generalized distress beacon. It could be a crashed pilot that needs help. Or it could be a crash, you know, uh, just a regular crashed ship. We don't care about any of those. You want to get five maps. That way you can mark all of the locations. So let's get to our crashed freighter over here. We're also going to be looking for an abandoned building. So the abandoned building is where we're going to get our uh, whispering eggs from. So one of our uh, farther in right here in uh, phase three, we need to find or steal 10 whispering eggs. And in order to get the whispering eggs, you need to get the larval core inside of the egg. We'll get to that when we get there, but that also comes from distress maps. So that's why you really want to do all of this at the same time. It makes it really easy to just knock it out. Be very careful, though, because the crashed freighter, there's nothing really there. You're okay. But the abandoned building, when you take the whispering eggs, you will be attacked by enemies. And so make sure you're prepared for it. Get some shield upgrades. Get some upgrades for your weapons if you need to. Make sure you do all of that. Get prepared. But we'll do that after we go do our crashed freighter. Wait a minute. But did we mark it? Yes, we did. We marked our crashed freighter there. So let's go do it. Wait a minute. Is it a... Oh, did someone mark it with a communication station? I think they might have done it. Yeah, I think they marked a communication station. That way it's easier to see... But yeah, I mean, you can't technically just fly really low, low and slow, and it, you'll see eventually a uh, crash freighter pop up. If you don't want to spend the time doing that, I would suggest getting a map. It helps out a ton. So we need to recover the freighter's log, which is going to be in our awesome, like, uh, thing right here. So let's get out here. Holy cow. A whole bunch of communication stations. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 
Everyone's marking this one, so <laughs> I could have gone to the planet and searched for it that way. Log extraction complete. Life goes on day after day, delivery after delivery. I hope to go home soon. The life of a blank is not one for like one for like me. For one like me. Multiple Sentinel energy signatures detected requiring immediate stopped out dropping out of warp they're they're there they're sentinels what are they doing fighting each other the sentinel ships are engaging each other they're ignoring us for now the sentinels appear to have departed they're in distress signal nearby broadcasting 16 on repeat i'm going to take a look can you tell who this is from might be maybe polo it could be Polo. Explore a crash freighter. So let's grab our uh, our awesome rewards for that. So we got memory fragments, armaments. So now we have different upgrades. We have a, a positron. This is for our uh, for our ship. So we can now remember you can only put three. You can only have three upgrades per section so if we have three in our general we could put three technically in our te uh technology so there you go now just to show you what happens if you put it in your general look at that it'll be red and it'll have an exclamation point saying it's overloaded all that means is you can't have more than three in the same area so just take that up put it in your uh, technology that way you can double up all of your in your uh, upgrades and you can get a really powerful weapon. You can do that for everything except for your multi-tool because your multi-tool only has one section to put upgrades in. So now that we have that one, let's go get our uh, stealing whispering eggs from our abandoned building because we used our charts, right? Might as well use it. Let's go get our larval cores. So this is where you need to be ready, everybody, because once you start picking up the larval cores, you will get attacked by enemies, so be ready for that. Thankfully, an abandoned building, you could go inside and hide out. Just like what we did with the Sentinels. If it gets too hot, if there's too much going on, hide out. So there are a few techniques a lot of people use for this. Mine is to grab from this side and then jump across and run away from the enemies immediately. So another, another way to do it is if you want to use your terrain manipulator to dig a hole underneath... You can hide underground because they cannot attack you underground. It has to be pretty deep. You want to go that far down. You want to go pretty deep. But for me, what I usually do, and you can do this if you feel comfortable, do that, you know, uh, basically activate the enemies and then get the heck out of dodge. Go over here to this side because they still have to figure out where the heck you went. So now we can pick up these eggs really fast. Remember, we got to get 10 of these. So one, two, three. And it's going to take him a second to get over here. So we're good to go on that. Grab that. Grab that. I don't even know how many we're at now. Okay. Oh, now we need to go. They found me. So now, remember where your doorway is in the building. Because you don't want to get, you know, cornered or attacked like this. Oh, yeah. See, now they, now they know where I am. There's my door. So get in here and hide out. Eventually, the uh, the biological horrors, the enemies will go away. Oh, let's get this guy. This guy will whip you, so get that guy done. And now we can just wait out a little bit. There's a damaged machinery in mine, so that's awesome. I like that. Maybe we'll get an upgrade. Come on. Upgrade. Um, We got... Oh, nanites. That's okay. And anyway, while we're waiting, we got six out of the ten eggs we need, so we're almost there. Let's grab everything on the inside. We can do this as well. This will have a little bit of story on this terminal, so you could grab it if you need to, if you're interested. And so you could just go through and do that. It's going to be the same no matter where you are, if you're in normal mode or if you're in the expedition. It's the same kind of storyline with these abandoned terminals. I do it because you get nanites out of there. You usually get, oh yeah, we got a good amount. 150 is pretty good. Where's my... Oh, I don't have very many bullets. Oh, no, I do have 5,000. I just don't know. Oh, I didn't realize I had that much. All right. So the swarm should be subsided. You'll see they, they'll go away. They'll start burrowing underground and ignoring you. 
Yep, there you go. That is the swarm subsiding. So now they're done. So what you can do, again, just do the same thing. Or if you want to, just go underground. Whatever is easiest for you. I like to, to tempt fate a little bit by activating them like this and then run away. Oh, man, they are ready to go on this one. Holy cow. And sometimes your larval cores will glitch out and they will go underground. So, you know, there's no like way to stop it or, you know, prevent it from happening. It's just a weird glitch that happens. So if that happens, just ignore it and move on. Don't don't get mad. Don't do anything else like that one. See, that one's glitched out. But if you need to dig a hole underground, that's why we dug our cave down here. And you're safe. They cannot come down the hole. Oh, we got it. Nice. We stole 10 whispering eggs. And yeah, look at you might get nervous because they're going to run around. They're going to look for you like that, but they can't get as long as you make your hole deep enough. They cannot get you. So don't even worry about it. So, oh, I don't hate. I don't even have my. Uh, I don't have my portable refiner. I got oh, I left without it. Oh, crap. All right. Well, we can make one down here. So let's do that. Oh, wait, right there. And we can put the, uh, the larval cores, we can do, we can put them in the refiner. So if you put it in the refiner, they will give you 250 nanites for a stack of five, which is awesome. You know, I'm going to do it because I want to get rid of some of it out of my inventory because I don't have a lot of space in my inventory. I will keep five. I always keep five just in case we need it later on. I don't know if we're going to need it later on because again we have the uh in iteration five in phase five we have these missions that are hidden so we don't know what we need for these missions i'm going to save my uh larval cores just in case you need one here i don't want to tempt fate and have to do this again so i'm going to keep it for now let me grab this all right swarm is subsiding we can get out of here we got our uh thing done where's my uh Where's my amazing uh, ship at? Oh, over there, up on the hill, okay. Come on, let's get up here. So we got that one done. Let's go to our exhibition tab and collect our reward for phase three. We got that one knocked out. We got a whispering omelet and fragment exosuit and memory fragments. I'll take all of that. So we did get some exosuit stuff. Let's see what we got here. We got an airburst engine. That's for your jetpack. I think we already have one. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. We can't. We're, really, we're running out of room now. We need some inventory space. Dang it. We also got an underwater protection module. Um, We do not have underwater, so we can use that. And then we have this one. This is a uh, toxin suppressor unit. Okay. Yep, this is for toxic. So, yeah, we're running out of room. We're going to need to make some room in our inventory. But not yet. Not yet. So, we got that one done. So, now all we need to do is befriend an aggressive creature. You cannot do that to the uh, the awesome biological horrors because, you know, that it is what it is. We could have done it on the starter planet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the uh, space station. We're going to teleport back to the starter planet all right so once you get on the uh, space station what you can do and what i've done or what i'm going to do is go to the teleporter if you want to go back to the beginning system go to your space stations the first system right here is the system we were just at this is the last system we were at which was a pirate system right then it just goes you know system by system where we landed and we had to set foot on the space station so if you didn't touch the space station you probably it's not going to show up here but the problem or the, the thing you could do is you can go back to the oldest one which is right here this is the first system we were at so let's go do that one and let's see if we can get an amazing uh animal to attack us and tame it so there we go we landed here discovered by hello games that's a good good indication that this is the beginning system so all we have to do we've noticed that the beginning planet the starter planet has a ton of animals that are aggressive 
So what you can do is just go land on the planet. It's a hot planet, not that one. It's a, the one, planet you start on is a hot one. Let's see. Oh, okay, go in the first person. That way I can tell where the planets are. There we go. Oh, they're behind the space station, of course. That's why I can't see them. There we go. So incandescent, that's the one right there. So let's head to this one and let's see if we can get an animal to attack us. Now, before you do anything, remember you need to have pellets, creature pellets to train them. That way you, you know, you have a stack of five. That way you can uh, tame them, I should say, not train them, tame them. That way they're not angry. Dropping bait may calm angry creatures. That's what you want to do. So we need to get a creature to be pissed off at us, uh, try to attack us, throw some food down, and then they'll love, they'll love us after that. Well, let's do it. Now I'm just randomly dropping down wherever I happen to be. I'm not even, not even worried about if I'm like uh, at a base or something like that. So there we go. And just run around a little bit. You should have a, an animal that just hates you. Come on. You'll see a red paw above them, above their head. There you go. That's what we're looking for. This guy right here. So let's go into our paw. Let's throw down a creature pellet. Now that he's mad and he eats it and now he'll be happy. <laughs> so now we have to interact with them and we have to adopt them as a companion for it to count. Adopt as a companion. There you go. Atonement made a friend out of a foe. And if you don't want to keep the uh, pet, like you say, hey, this is not my cool, you know, not my type of deal. Go over to creatures, go to your companion register, and you don't have to keep him. You can just abandon him. That way he's just back to normal. Like he's okay. If you don't want it, if you want to keep him, go for it. Keep him. We got our, uh, we have our companion done. So we got all of phase two done. Let's, uh, let's collect that. We got ain't ancestral memories and feceum and wild milk. All right, I'll, I guess I'll take that. Wild milk would be good to uh, help with my health. All right. So now that we are done with phase two, we can collect our temporal starship trail. Oh yes. So now when you claim the reward, it instantly is given to you. So now we can build that and we need 10 ferrite dust. Oh, that's gonna be great. Let's build that. So now let's see what this temporal, uh, oh, dang it. Of course I don't have any launch fuel. Let me get some launch fuel. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, now we have it. We're good. Let's see what these uh, temporal jets look like. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That looks pretty badass. Look at that. That is really cool. That is so cool. Okay. So now that we have that done, we have phase two knocked down. Let's go to phase three. We need to get to that third anchor point. So we need to go back to our previous system because that's where we were the farthest at. So let's go back to the previous system. All right, land it back on the space station. So the best part about this is the most recent uh, system we just came from will be the number one uh, space station on the list. So go to your space station. There you go. That's the previous. That's the one we just came from. So we can head right back to it. Let's go. And here we are. Landed pretty quick over here. So let's go. You can see all the markers for my distress signals over there. We got this, you guys. We got this. So now we just have to get to that third anchor point. Let's go to our map. And let's follow the expedition route. Let's do it. All right. We made it to the third... Uh, anchor point system Whew, that was a long journey it took a long time to get here but we're here good lord that took forever way longer than i thought it was going to goodness all right so while we're here i'm just trying to organize and make sure everything's clean and good to go and then we're on our third rendezvous or third you know phase we have that one that one collect storm crystals we're gonna have to find an extreme system, but we'll do that after we get to the, uh, after we get to here. We're basically gonna look for a planet that has any activated items on it. But we'll do that when we get there. Oh, wait a minute. We might have to take out some pirates on the way. Good Lord, yeah. All right, yep. He found my larval cores that I'm holding on to. <laughs> 
get this done. Oh, there's going to be a couple of them. Okay. Well, let's get this done. Come on. Four of them there. Holy cow. They, uh, yeah, that was a little scary there. But okay, we made it. We're good. Let's go. Continue on. Local enemy disruption. Now we're good. Okay. Move some of this stuff around. Is this a uh, blaze javelin? We don't need that. I thought we had gold in there. I guess not. Okay. Oh, people are making their bases over here. I, I bet you a lot of people are, uh, they're like, oh, we can make a cool base right here and be done with it. I have a feeling maybe this base right next to where the marker is, that's probably where the, uh, there you go, three point. I have a feeling someone's being cool and they marked the, uh, the anchor point right here for us. It is a, uh, it is a, uh, portal, right? Maybe. Well, let's land and see what's going on. Where is it at? There we go. Too weak. Oh God, we gotta go that way. Okay. Well, that was great. That was useful. over here oh god now i'm gonna be searching maybe here let's see come on the cool thing about solars is they look cool the bad thing is it takes them forever to land 800 feet that way well, let's go get oh shit I peed a little bit on that. I thought I was dead. I didn't realize there was a big cliff side on that side. Oh my God. We got it though. We got it guys. We got it. Oh, we found it and it is a uh, portal. Thankfully. So we got all this stuff marked. I love it. And our, we had to climb a mountain, go up and over a mountain. So uh, I'm definitely going to be, uh, oh yeah, I keep hearing that. And I realized all these frigates are coming through. I love that. We have the living frigates right here. Yeah, I had to, I'm going to call in my ship because I don't want to climb that mountain again. <laughs> There's no way. I don't want to climb it. So let's get it. Mmm, bacon. All right. Let's claim our rewards for that. Get into that third one. Well, what is going on here? So now that we've done that, we need to go to our secondary, feel their thirst. And we need to activate our resonator. Memory hotspot identified. Let's go. Where is it going to be? Look for the marker. And there's going to be another grave site right over here, it looks like. Oh, 40 minutes. Okay. Well, while we're doing that, let's look at our uh, inventory. Come on. That's for our ship. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, yeah. The ship is the one that's going to get all the inventory space, I guess. High capacity, high capacity, high capacity. Yeah, just throw it all in the high capacity. All right. Now we're done again. There we go. I wish they would give me my exosuit, but again, it's random. You can just like save your game and then use it and sure, you know, keep doing it until it gives you what you want. But I'm just going to go with the flow on whatever we're going to get from it. So whatever they give me, that's what I'll take. Ooh, we're in the daylight. Oh, it's super bright. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is a grave marker. So it's not going to show up on a, uh, a scan from your your ship 
And of course, there's mountains all over the place, and I think they do that on purpose. That way, people get fall damage and they die. I really do think that they chose mountainous uh, planets for this stuff on purpose. Well, we're going to land on the top. Let's see where this thing is. Come on. Please be on the top. Oh, yeah, it's down over here, 600 feet away. Wait a minute. Do we have enough uh, launch fuel? Need to make sure. No, we don't. Let me put it in there. That way I can call it in and get the heck out of wherever I'm going. Oh, beetles! Look at that! We got beetles out here. I love that. Don't shoulder boost when you're going down a mountain. That's how you get killed. Don't do it. Don't do it. This was the most insanely complicated one to find. And I'm not even there yet. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I just had to come down this freaking mountain. Oh, Lord. I almost died sliding down that mountain and falling off of it a few times. We got it, though. Oh, and like nothing I've ever seen, their hulking form lit up by the sun. I knew that I must capture it. It must be mine. Everything was prepared. The ambush, the engine, faster than I thought possible. As though it knew where I would fly, even before I got there. A great tentacle hugged me, pressing to the bone, and I... It and I are now fused... Okay. Warning, protocol, life support low. Let's claim that memory. Loop collapse event in progress. Oh, God. We should be getting attacked. No, nothing. Okay, so we got that one done. There's nothing attacking us on this one. Okay. New product formula learned. Memory for... Oh, we got a memory fragment. We need wiring loom, silver, and pugnium. We can get all that stuff. Memory fragment plan. Okay, so we need silver, pugnium. We can buy pugnium, or we can go get a, uh, we can go attack some sentinels. And you know what? I think we, we get silver from the asteroids like this. So let's do that real quick. Let's get some silver. All the silver we need. All right. We also, we do need wiring loom, which that is something we need. So you have to buy it, or if you break technology, you can get it from there as well. Oof. Wow, I can't, we ran out of room. Holy mackerel. Okay. So what we can do is we can break some stuff and get wiring loom that way. Like our water, we don't need that, right? And we don't need this modified gas pump. We're good. So now we got our two and we got some oxygen. We got some other extra stuff there. We need to make our memory imprint, which needs just pugnium now. So the cool thing I have, you can attack sentinels and get it that way. What I have is a sent sentinel boundary map. Let's go shut down some sentinels and get some pugnium. So the cool thing about a sentinel pillar is you can attack the sentinels, get them to come after you, and then shut them down immediately and get all the pugnium you need. So let's do that. See, gotta get that. We got our salvaged glass out of there. Pugnium 94, right to go. Look at that. So now they should be extra angry. Oh God. Now we need to get in here and shut them down quickly before I get killed. Let's go to shut down Sentinel forces. Boom. Done and done. And let's see what they have for a uh, multi-tool here. Ah, it's not, eh, it's okay. I don't really care about it. It has a pulse spitter on it, but eh. If it was a Royal, I would care, but eh, I don't care about this. So now let's pick up these barrels because you can get some pugnium out of there and some nanites. 
And also we can shoot these uh, pillars. There we go. So we should have enough Pugnium now. Oop, we got some Sentinel upgrades. We don't need those yet, so we don't have a Bolt Caster. So now we can make it. So let's make our Memory Imprint or Memory Fragment, I should say. Got it. Summoned a new Memory. So let's go to our Expedition. That, there you go for Phase 3. We got that one done. We got some silver, some gold, and suspicious packet of goods. So let's see what we got in the goods. A crystal, dihydrogen, <laughs> good lord. Gravitino balls, nip nip buds, memory fragment. Let's see what we got. Uh, radiation deflector. This is for our suit. Oh, good lord. Okay, we're going to need to... Uh, we need to go get some stuff done. All right. So the other thing we need to do for our expedition, we need to collect some storm crystals. Oh, of course, we don't have any launch fuel. I need to get some uranium. So we found a planet that has activated copper on it. That means this has a possibility of having storm crystals. It's not a guarantee, never a guarantee, but you have a high probability, a high chance of storm crystals being on a planet that has activated copper or activated emerald or whatever because you need activated storms to activate a storm crystal and that's how you get activated copper so that's why you're looking for planets that have activated elements on them so let's see if this one has any kind of uh, storm crystals please for the love of god Let's land here. Make sure I have enough uh, launch fuel to get out of here if I need to. I am not really seeing any outcroppings. Usually you could see like where the storm crystals would be and they just don't activate until a storm happens. Oh, wait a minute. There you are right there. So that's what you're looking for. Land on a planet. If there's no storm happening, that's fine. You're looking for these rocks. And again, they will not open up until a storm happens. But that's the rock you're looking for. A storm crystal right there. And so this is a place where I would say if you have, if you want to use your Minotaur, this would be the place to do it. Oh, wait a minute. I left my Minotaur on my, uh, my ship. So let's grab that thing. Because you can't grab it unless you're in, you know, a storm and you want to have protection. So let's grab this thing. Boom. There you go. So now we have our Minotaur. Awesome. So if there, anything goes wrong, we can just, you know, stop <laughs> and get in our Minotaur. But we have some crystals here. So now we just have to wait for a storm to happen. Great. There we go. Incoming firestorm detected. So if you don't have any protections, like if you find it on a, uh, a toxic planet or whatever, you have your Minotaur as a reward for one of your milestones. So get in it and wait. Because as soon as the storm hits, this rock will turn into a storm crystal. And also you're going to be looking for, you'll see some golden lightning bolts. And that means you are looking at a storm crystal. But I mean, also in the middle of the storm, you'll see it glowing. Let's grab this thing. Come on. Anytime you want to turn on. <laughs> Come on. You're killing me. There it is. Grab that storm crystal. We need to get five of them. So yeah, you can see them glowing. So that's why you don't really need to worry about it too much. You can kind of see them from a distance. But you do need to pick them up quickly because that storm might go away and then you're kind of left without it. Oh God, don't get out of your uh, Minotaur. You need that protection. We need two more storm crystals. Yeah, 
Yeah, one more storm crystal. Let's get it up oh, right over here. And you know, if you want to make a lot of money, storm crystals are a really good way to make money. So definitely grab some storm crystals if you want to make that moolah. All right. Calcified Echoes collects five storm crystals. So let's grab that one. And now, whoop, we have a uh, literally phase three is done. Let's go back to our ship. Phase three. Oh yeah, wait a minute. We have our phase three reward, which is our cloak. Oh, we have our, our whale cloak now. Oh, you know, we got to go look at that thing. So we've claimed it. Let's see if we can go put it on at the space station. Wait a minute. Gonna make sure we got everything out of our exocraft. Yeah, like this. We need all that kind of stuff. I want to make sure I grabbed everything out of there. I mean, you can store stuff in there if you want to, but I'm going to use that other stuff. So that's why I want it. <laughs> Let's go to the space station. Where are you at? Oh, right over here. And let's go put on our cloak. All right. Oh, I can't wait. Let's put on our cloak. I want to see this cape, this whale, this Levent Leviathan cape. Let's go put it on. So we're going to go down to your backpack. You're going to go to your customized cape. We have number three, the whale stalker cloak. Look at that. Oh, yes. We're going to keep that. Look at that cloak. We have our, our whale stalker cloak, our Le Leviathan cape right there. I love that, guys. So I'm going to call it there. Hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.